Good evening. Let's see, let's see. Good evening. Roberto, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How's everything, Roberto? How? Eh, I'm sorry? How's everything? Everything fine? Everything good? Ah, everything, everything fine. Okay, that's great. Excellent, excellent. What about the family? Na nice. Uh, I'm, I'm celebrate the the birthday of my uh, uh, boy. Your son? Okay. My son. I am yes. celebrating. I am celebrating my son's birthday. I celebrate my son's birthday. Look in the chat. My son's birthday. My son's birthday. Okay. Oh, really? Excellent. Congratulations. How old is your son now? Uh, 10 years. 10 years. Oh, my gosh. So, he's like on the move. Yes. Kids, when yes. are like that, they are like always in the move. Yes. Okay. yes. Excellent. Thank you, Roberto. It's nice to have you here. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Urania, a delicious tea or coffee, Urania? Oh, tea, in your case it's tea. Should be a coffee, Urania. <laughs> Got to be a coffee, good mm. evening. Good evening, teacher, how are how you? How are you tonight? I'm just great, what about you? Um, I'm fine, I'm so fine. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, I'm tired. I'm tired, but I'm so fine. Okay, are you still working on the thesis? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> you are not working on the thesis? No. Yeah. I can, oh, yeah. I can, oh, yeah. I can work in my thesis. <laughs> Come on, Urania. Everybody here, the whole group is invited to your graduation. Ah, oh, yes, I know. <laughs> we want to go. To, we want to be there. Well, yes. Hurry yes. up. Hurry up. Okay. Thank you, Urania. Okay. okay. Mr. Cruz, Edwin Cruz, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thanks. Okay, excellent. Tell me, Mr. Edwin, where do you work? I work at Bocadelli. Oh, yes, you told me in, yesterday. Yeah, specifically in uh, Bocadelli has two plants. In, okay. in one plant, uh, manufacturing snacks. Okay. In the, in the other plant, uh, manufacturing flexible packaging. Oh, interesting. In, in, in that plant, in the second, I work in. Uh, okay. The yeah. other way around. Uh, I am working in the second. I am working in the second, in the second plan. As okay. to say. Hold on. Now say with me. I am working in the second one. I am working in the second one. Okay, excellent. You know, that's a topic that we are going to cover in this course further ahead. This is one and one. Okay. Later okay. on. Thanks. Well, it's good to have you here, Elvin. Mr. Joel Piches, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, I'm fine, thanks. What about you? Great. I'm just great. Happy to have you here in class. So, how was your day, mister? Okay. Excuse how me? Was I can day? hear. How was your day? Oh, it was very good. I think so. Okay. You know what? I like I like to look behind you. You have many books. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have many books about oh, yeah. the history, uh, English. I have many books about English. Oh, excellent, excellent. It's just because <laughs> I love reading. Okay, me too, me too. I, I, I love I reading. Enjoy reading. I really me too, love reading. me too. Excellent, yes. excellent. So we got two okay. things in common. We like English and we like reading. Okay, okay me too. Mr. 
Mr. Hoyle, you like history. Now, listen to this question. Yes. What is your favorite period in history? My favorite video. Period. Period. A uh, period. Uh, okay. Mm, all the periods. All the periods. No. Yes. I, I like to read. Huh? I like to read about all, all the history. Oh, excellent. In my case, mm -hmm. the other day, I don't remember if it was this class or the other one. I was telling some people that I love to study about the French Revolution. Oh, it's very interesting. The yeah, French that's Revolution. That's my, that's my favorite period in history. Well, good to have you okay. here, Joel. Okay. Let's see who, will, who else is here. Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Hello. How Hi. are you tonight? Oh, good. Everything okay. is great. Yeah. How's, how was the university? Today. Oh, it was good because I, I have one class tomorrow. I'm going to do one egg. Um, oh, really? Wow. So you yeah. have to study. Uh, after this, yeah. After this class, I am going to study a lot. Yeah, until I fall okay. asleep. Okay, okay. It's good to be prepared. Always be prepared. Yeah, I heard that you like the French Revolution, right? Yeah. And I know I that. Uh, I know that about uh, that specific time. I started the, the topic about the constitu constitution. Oh yeah, it's true. That's very it's important true. part of this. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The first, the first. Oh, oh. I don't know how do they call the it. Civil rights. La Carta de los Derechos Civiles. The first one. Declaration comes from the French of Revolution. civil rights. Yeah. The Declaration yeah. of the Civil Rights. That's the word. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you, Freddy. Let's You're see welcome. who else. Who else do I have here? Mr. Luis Cotto, good evening. Uh, I cannot hear you, Luis. Can you activate your microphone? Let's see. Can you hear me, Luis? Can you oh, hear yeah. me? Yes, I can right now. Hello, Mr. Luis. How are you? I think. Oh, you know, you're in, you have the same name of one of my father's best friends. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Your name, your name, name? Luis Cotto, is yes. the same, es el mismo, as one of my father's my father. Oh, best yes. Friends. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. I yeah, understand. Okay. Well, happy to have you here, mister. Eh, no sé si, perdón. Yes. El día de ayer, ayer no tuve la oportunidad de poderme enlazar. Eh, creo que yo estoy en el nivel intermedio, ¿verdad? Pre-intermediate one. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, pues sí, no estoy equivocado. Entonces, okay, don't worry, don't worry. No, por, por mi trabajo no pude ver eh, lo que era la primera lección el día de ayer. Oh, okay, eh, you can do this. Uh, you can ask for the people from the, the administrative people, they can send you the link of the video so you can check it out. Usted puede pedirle oh, yes. el link del video a las personas de soporte técnico y ellos se lo mandan porque yo cada clase la estoy subiendo. Hoy terminamos la clase a las 10. Alrededor de las 11 de la noche, ya está arriba. Ya, ya está arriba el video. Sí, ah, ellos okay. les mandan a ustedes el, el listado del link para que ustedes puedan accesar a ellas y verlas si quieren repasarlas. ¿Ok? Ah, ya, yeah. para eso le tengo una pregunta. Eh, todas bien. las clases son, si, esto, si estoy, estoy en un nivel pre-intermedio, significa que todas las clases serían así en el lenguaje ya de inglés. Yes. Yes. It's just, ah, okay. just, in ex, just in extreme cases that I will use Spanish. 
solo en casos muy extremos utilizaré español, but most of the time ah, yeah. English. And as I told you yesterday, guys, the objective is for you to speak more. So today we are going to do many different activities. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And Understand. let's see, who else do I have here? Who else? Who else? Thank you, Luis. Okay. Now let's see who else is around. Who, Carol, good evening, Carol. How are you? Good evening. Fine, and you? Carol, I'm just great, Carol. So tell me, how was your day today? Um, uh, very, very interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Tell me why. I'm curious. <laughs> um, I prepare um, eh, cosas fuera de mi puesto de trabajo. Eh, oh, really? Yes. Um, eh, prepare licitación. Eh, okay, for a licitation. A licitation. Eh, Bicepa. Eh, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Okay, look. You were working on stuff not related to your workplace or to your work position. Okay. Okay. To your work position. Interesting. Okay. Well, happy to have you here, Carol. What? I am happy to have you here in class. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Mr. Tulio Torres, good evening. Uh, good evening. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you, mister? Okay. Uh, uh, please, in the class, uh, uh, first, night. first day in the class don't worry we are going to have fun and we are going to look to a lot of information today so we are going to start right now guys thank you mr tulio okay guys uh, well for the ones who've been working with me you know that whenever i start a class i always start ma making questions greeting you but also making questions related to the class so today we are going to work with questions. WH questions with the verb be and yes, no questions with the verb be. Now, when we talk about WH questions, if you remember, uh, the WH questions are those that we use to ask the people for information. That's why they are also called information questions. So let's see. What are some of the information questions or the WH questions that you remember, guys? You can tell me. Do you remember WH questions? Yes, tell me. Why? Tell me. Open what, your microphone. What? Why? 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 Where? 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 What? Who? What? Who? Who? How? When? 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 Okay, when? Nice. How? How? Which? Oh. Which? Perfect. How? So you see, when? usually, usually, when what? when they teach us about WH questions, they usually tell us about what, where, when, why, how, who. Usually, just around six or seven. Today, we are going to open that. We are going to make it a little bit bigger. But first, we are going to go to a small video from the platform, from the Inglés Corporativo platform, so we can check out some information that is there. Do you remember that yesterday I told you to check out the video? Okay. And let me share it with you. Just give me a second. Where am I? I am here because I need to share this with you. Okay, and I'm going to close this here. And you X note. Okay, this is the video from the English Corporativo Platform. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH question words. What, who, where, when, and how. First, 
Let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH Questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. Okay, guys. If we notice, that's what I was telling you. What, where, who, how. Very simple, no? But when we talk about WH questions, actually we have more. We have plenty more. And I'm going to show you right now in a small presentation that I prepare, I'm going to show you about them. So let me see, let me see, let me see. It's right here, okay? And let's see, we are going to do... Um, okay, because this is a little bit bigger. Remember, WH questions, okay? For the doubt, we are in pre-intermediate one. This is our second class, WH questions. The WH questions are used to ask for specific information, okay? They can't be answered with a yes or no. They ask for information, as I told you. That's why they are called, they are also called information questions. And look, we use what? to ask about things, animals, objects, okay? An example, uh, what is your favorite subject? Very simple. Do you remember that I asked uh, Mr. Joel, what is your favorite period in history? I was asking about something. Now look, we use when to ask about time. Okay, like I asked Urania, Urania, tell me, when were you born? I was born in uh, 1987, no me acuerdo como dice. 1987. 1987. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Look, now we use how often to talk about the frequency, and this is something different, okay? We use how often to talk about frequency. Like, let's see, let's see, let's see, who am I going to ask? Uh, Mr. Carlos Zelaya. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Mr. Carlos. How often do you shave? Daily. Sorry? Daily? Daily? Okay. I shave daily. I shave daily. You see? In this case, I'm asking about the frequency. La frecuencia. I'm asking cuán a menudo. Exactly that. That is the question. When I ask how often. Okay? Let's continue. Three, Any three questions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. No questions? Let's continue, guys. Let's see. We are right here. Okay. Now, we use wish to make a choice. And this is very important, okay? I'm going to explain to you why. Because sometimes we use in Spanish for us, we can get confused between what and wish. Okay? Look, let's see. Uh, Mr. Freddy, tell me, what is this? This is a cell phone. Okay, it is a cell phone. If you understand the question in your mind, I ask you, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what is your favorite cell phone brand? 
Sorry. What is I your hear favorite you. cell phone brand? Do you like Samsung? Do you oh, like okay. uh, Huawei? Huawei. My okay. Huawei. Cell phone brand. Simple, no? Yeah. What about this? Still, Freddy. Which one do you like better? The green one or the black one? I, I, really, I prefer the green one. Okay. In this case, thank you, Freddy. If you notice, guys, when I use wish, they were options. You could see the options. Okay. Do you remember when I asked Joel? What is your favorite period in history? ¿Cuál es su periodo favorito? In this case, which is your favorite? ¿Cuál? In this case, options. Shown to you. Okay? You can see the options. No questions? Okay, let's continue. Okay. Why? Why to know the reason? Okay, let's see. Suli. Hello, Suli. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Suli. Tell me, why are you late for my class, Suli? Uh, how do you say Velorio? Oh, a viewing? Mm, yes. Uh, it is his daughter, the my friend. Okay, my friend's daughter. My friend, my friend's daughter. Okay, mm -hmm. I understand. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, if you see the question that I asked, Suli, thank you, Suli. Is why I asked for a reason. Okay, when you are asking why, you are asking for a reason, and the answer when somebody asks us why, the answer starts with because. Okay, remember that's like mandatory. That's something that is in stone, okay? Eso es obligatorio, eso está en piedra. If they ask you why, you answer because, okay? Any question? No, let's continue. Okay, next one, what time? Okay, let's see. Let's see who's going to help me here. Flora, what time is it? It's uh, 9.21. 9.21. Thank you very much, Flora. You see, I'm asking her about the time. Okay, the specific time. We use when. When we ask about a moment in time, we use what time when we are asking about the specific time. And still, there's another one that talks about time. But anyway, we use whom to talk about the object of the verb. And we use where to know the place. In the case of whom, don't worry. I'm going to explain that further ahead in this class, okay? We use where to know about the place, like, let's see, let's see, Sarah, tell me, where do you live? I live in a history center. Okay, oh, beautiful. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. Now, we use who to talk to ask about people. And in this case, who and whom? Okay, it's very simple and perhaps I'm going to explain it to you right now, okay? In the case of who and whom, the explanation is quite simple. When we use who, it's because we are asking about the subject of the sentence. And when I use whom, I am talking about the object of the sentence, but that's grammar. So we are going to try to make it like easier for you. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's see. Imagine, guys, that I'm that I ask you. Uh, I have two sentences for you. Let's see. Let's see how I present them to you. Okay. 
Let's do it this way. Okay. Let's see. I saw. Um, let's see. Who do I see? I saw Sully at the party. Okay. I saw Sully at the party. Now, the question, what is who did you see at the party? Okay. Actually, this one should be like this. First the question and then the answer. Okay. Like this. Who did you see at the party? Oh, I saw Sully at the party. Any question? Teacher. Yes. The verb C is in the present. So is in the past. Yes. In both cases, it's in past. Uh -uh. If you see here, can you see the first sentence? Mm -hmm. C. That. You have the auxiliary deal. And remember, when you have the auxiliary deal, it means that the verb is in past. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now, that's in the first case, in the case of two. Very simple, no? Bien. That's the question. Bien. Now, when we talk about whom, and as I told you, it refers to the object, Okay, I'm, give, I'm gonna give you another sentence. Let's see, what would it be that it's going to be easy for you? Let me check it. Okay, it will be like this. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I saw Louis at the party. Whom did you see at the party? Louis. Louis was playing the guitar. Who was playing the guitar? Actually, the difference is like this, and I'm going to make it the easiest way for you. Who? Quien? Who? A quien? Okay? It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay? When you ask who, quien, when you ask who, a quien. Yes. Right. Any question? No? no. Are we continue? Okay. Still more. Let's see. Now, we use how old to talk about age. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Urania, how old are you? I'm 33 years old. Okay, you are 33 years old. Excellent, thank you. Now, we use how to ask about manner. This is very simple. Like I asked uh, Tulio, how are you? And the answer in this case, when somebody asks us, how are you? We answer, oh, I am fine, I am good, I am bad. It depends on the manner, okay? But then we have how long. This is different, you see? In the beginning, we just have how, but now we have how often the frequency, how long, about the duration or the length, like this. Like, let's see, Elwin, how long does it take you from your house to your workplace? How long? Uh, normally, uh, an, an hour. An hour? An hour. Okay. Yeah. The, the most correct answer would be, it usually takes me 
takes me. Okay. It it usually takes me. Okay. It usually takes me an hour. It usually takes me an hour. Okay, perfect. Okay. Guys, any question up to here? Alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No, no, teacher. Teacher. Okay. Yes, yes. Teacher, one moment is point the S in, in verbs. It takes me in one moment usually. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, guys, uh, let's see. It takes me. When I am talking about he, she, or it, simple present affirmative, you add S or ES to the end of the verb, okay? We use usually, it usually takes me. Usually it's an alber of frequency. Okay, and it expressed that a frequency. It usually, it always, it sometimes. Okay, he could tell me, "Oh, it never takes me more than an hour," because it's talking about the frequency. And remember, as he is saying, "It, it, it is referring to the time." Okay, because the subject in this case is the time. It takes me, or it usually takes me, an hour. Is that clear, Mr. Carlos? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Let's continue. Now we have who's. It's about possession. This is very simple, guys. Okay, who's this? Look at the screen. Who's this? This is a cell phone. This is a cell phone? Cell phone. No. Who's? This is yours. Cell it's my cell phone. This is yours. This is your cell phone. Yours. It's a, it's a teacher's cell phone. Okay, it's the position, okay? Simple, no? In the case of who's, it's very simple. Let's continue, guys. We use how much to talk about amount. When we talk about the amount, the quantity of uncountable nouns, okay? Like, how much water do you want? Or we use it for the price. Like, how much is, uh, how much is a car cost? How much is this cell phone? How much is your computer? I'm talking about the price. Or you use it to talk about the amount. Like imagine that, uh, imagine that Carol invites me for a cup of coffee and Carol tells me, hey teacher, how much sugar do you want? It's asking about the quantity, but remember that sugar, it's uncountable yes so in that case we use how much and I tell her oh just one one spoon or in my case I tell her no sugar thanks but the okay. question is how much when you ask about uncountable nouns or you use how much to ask about prices okay like I ask uh, okay. I can ask Let's see, uh, Miss. Let's see who's here, who's here, who's here. I can ask Edwin. Edwin, how much are your earphones? How much? Uh, about uh, 20, 20 dollars. 20 bucks, okay, perfect. You 20 see, bucks or 20 dollars, correct. Both. Both. Okay. Yeah, 20 bucks is informal, okay? Okay, let's continue, guys. Now, let's see. And as I told you, we have how many to talk about 
quantity, but when it's about countable noun. Okay? This is used to talk about the quantity of countable nouns. Like, how many WH questions do we have here? Oh, I start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see? About the quantity of countables. And we use how far to talk about the distance. Okay? Like, I ask, let's see. I can ask Mr. Roberto. Roberto, how far is your job from your house? Very far or close? Um, it's, far, it's very far. Okay. How long does it take you to get from your house to your job? It One hour, takes, two hours? It takes uh, two hours. Wow, yes. It is very far. <laughs> yes, it is. If you see, it's very simple. Okay, guys. Now, we are going to do an exercise because I need you using the WH question. The exercise is the following one. Look. Look at this question. Okay. What's your name? Where is your job located? Who is your favorite actor? When is your birthday? Why are you in English class? Okay. Now, let me see. I'm going to send you the image of those questions. So you can check them out. Give me just a second and I got them right here. Yes, what's your name? Where's your job located? Okay, guys, if you check in your WhatsApp group, you have all those questions. Now, I'm going to divide you in small groups and I need you to ask each other those questions like fast, okay? You're going to have four minutes to ask each other. Both ways, okay? You have to ask and answer. Just let me see. Hold on a second. Okay, that's better. Okay, remember, I'm going to divide you in small groups and you are going to ask each other those questions. So let's see, I'm going to have here 10 groups. Please guys, jump in right now. You already have the invitation for the groups. Mr. Lewis, ¿recibió la invitación para unirse al grupo? Betsaida, hello. Okay, perfect. I know it too. He is a <laughs> actor. 
handsome. <laughs> okay, when is Hello, your birthday? Hello. 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 So, are you asking and answering those questions? You finish. Um, like only one. Well, Hello. Uh, have you, have you asked the questions? Have you asked the questions? Oh, no yet. No yet. Okay, why don't you ask them to Norma? Okay. Hi. What's your name? My name is Norma. Hi Norma. Hi, Where is nice your to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where is your job located? My job located is in Lopango City. Okay, it's, uh, it's very far. I think so. Who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Brad Pitt. Oh. He's very handsome for you. I <laughs> yeah. when, is, <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday is October 5. October 5. Okay. October 5. October, October the 5th. 5th. Uh, October the 5th. Mm -hmm. 5th. Okay. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a second. I'm sorry, Joel. I'm sorry. Okay. Remember, it's 5th. Look fifth. in the chat. Fifth. Fifth. In English, in English, we don't say cinco de octubre. We say el quinto, the fifth. Okay. Ordinal number. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Please continue. Okay. Uh, why are you in English class? Why? Um, Why? In uh, my house, yeah. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is um, Gerard Butler. Oh. <laughs> so, so nice. I don't know. <laughs> ah. No comment. I love him. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Hi, girl. Turn it up. Hello, guys. You finished? There's the teacher. <laughs> yeah. You finished? Okay. In 60 seconds, we are going back to the main room. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. I have some people back. Mr. Noel Ramirez. Noel, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Do me a favor, Noel. Can you ask the questions to Urania, please? Uh, Take me a moment. Yeah. Uh, who is your favorite actor? <laughs> my favorite actor. My favorite actor is Lee Minho. Who's that? <laughs> He's a Korea actor. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to hear about that. Oh, Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no, continue. Continue. Next question. <laughs> Why are you in English class? Uh, because I I want to to learn the English language. Oh, okay. Darren. Interesting, interesting. Thank you, Noel. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's see. 
Oh my gosh, I remember that I saw Ana Maria somewhere here. She left? Mm, okay, let's see Mr. Christian. Christian Caldron, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Would you mind, Christian, asking the questions to Betsaida, please? Hello. Hello, Betsaida. Where is your job located? I think that side is having problems with the connection, but don't worry, Christian. Suli is going to help us. Suli. Hello. Christian is going to ask you, Suli, please answer. Okay. Repeat, please. Hello, Suli. Hello, Christian. Hello, Suli. What is... Nice to meet you. What is your favorite, favorite actor? Hmm. My favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, another question, Christian. And what, your, and what is your job located? My job located. Where is your job located? My job located is Carretera al Puerto de la Libertad. Okay. Thank you, Christian, very much. Suli, my job is located okay. on the road. My, my job is located on the road. On the road. On the road. Oh, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> on the road to El Puerto de la Libertad. On the road. Road, carretera, okay? Okay. The job is located on the road to El Puerto de la Libertad. Let's see, Mr. Who's not participated? Mr. Tulio, please. Would you mind asking Sarah the questions? Hi. Hi, Sarah. Let's see. Tulio is trying to get. Sorry, I don't hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think he's having problems with the connection. Okay, don't worry, Tulio. Don't worry, don't worry. Somebody else is going to help us here. Perhaps Mr. Luis Cotto, would you mind asking Sarah? Oh, there's Tulio. Okay. What is your name? My name is Sarah. Ah, what books is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Okay. When yes. is your when is your birthday? My birthday is August fourth. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tulio. Excellent. Remember, thank Sarah, you. birthday, birthday. 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 Right. Okay, let's see. Now, Mr. Luis Cotto. Hello, Luis. Can you activate your microphone? Let's see. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Please, Mr. Luis, can you ask Mr. Alberto Raimundo, please? Yeah, okay, that's right. What's your name? Name is Alberto Raimundo. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Eugenio Derbez. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. What is your location job? <laughs> Uh, my, my job is located, uh, the, in the road, 
eh, Puerto de la Libertad. Eh, six, six, 16 eh, ki kilómetros. Kilómetros. Around, around este, 16 kilómetros. Oh, yes. de eh, Tuscania, Tuscania res Residence. Ah, ok. What is your birthday? My birthday is 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 in October 2026. Ok, thanks. Thanks to you both, guys. You're welcome. Now let's see. Just I just have time for one more. Let's see who's gonna be. Who's gonna be? Freddy. Freddy wants to participate. I see Freddy that he really wants to. Let's see, Freddy. Teacher, teacher. And, yes. Uh, teacher, sorry. Uh, how do you pronounce uh, kilometer? Kilometers. Okay. Kilometers. Okay. Kilometers. Okay. Now let's see, Freddy. Freddy, who yeah. are you going to ask, Freddy? There's one of the ladies, let's see. Hey, I like this name, Aura. Aura, chicas. Hello, Aura. Hola. Okay, you are going to answer. Fred is going to ask you. Okay. Who? I'm going Freddy, to ask Freddy. Yeah. So, Freddy, what please you... start. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Aura. Who? Where is your job, job located? My job located is, uh, is very near uh, El Salvador del Mundo. Who, please tell me, who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Gerard Butler. Who, uh, and also, when, when is your birthday? My birthday is on 10, in 10 August. Okay, why are you in, in English class? Um, I'm, I need to learn, I need to practice, and I like that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks to you both. Now, all right, remember August 10th. Okay. August 10th. Okay, thank you. Yes. First the month and then the number, okay? August. First the, okay, uh -huh. August First the 10th. month and the next August day. 10th. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very now, much. There's something that you must be aware of, And uh, I'm going to explain it slowly. If you are speaking in English to perhaps an American and this person is a little bit old, like, older than me, perhaps. If you're speaking to somebody from the States and that person is a little bit old, they perhaps, or that person speaks very formally. In this case, if you look in the chat, I wrote August 10th. And if you ask me, hey teacher, when is your birthday? I'm going to answer you like this. Look, my birthday is on December, okay, look at the chat. My birthday is on December 17th. Now, some people, it's not quite common, but it could happen that somebody is going to tell you, my birthday is on December the 17th, okay? They introduce, when they speak, they introduce the word the. My birthday is on December the 17th, but they don't write it, okay? That's something that is used just when they speak. And as I tell you, it's used for some very formal people. I'm sorry for this, but I'm, I'll switch into Spanish just for a second, okay? Perdón que pase el español solo por un segundo. Si usted habla con una persona mayor o muy formal, cuando ellos le digan, la fecha, le van a agregar la partícula, el artículo the, T-H-E. Okay? Al hablar, but not when they write. Okay? Just when they speak. And that's very formal English 
and a little bit old fashioned. Okay, un poquito pasado moda, but old people like me, perhaps. In my case, I learned and the, the very first teachers I have was an a an Scottish. Okay, so uh, I learned from a very old person. So I learned in this very formal way. People, young sir, they don't speak like that. Now, before anything else, any question? No questions? Okay, perfect. Because no I need to teacher. jump into something else. We need to do a small, another small exercise. So let's see, these were the questions. Now, remember, there are also just no questions. And we are going to work with just no questions with the verb be. Remember, the yes, no questions are those that simply, they are answered with a yes or no. Now, we have short answer, like, are you a student? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Or you can have long answer. Yes, I am a student. Or, no, I am not a student. You see? Something very important. Remember, in this case, this sentence is not correct. Why not? Because you need to place the period here. Remember, commas, when you are writing, they are mandatory. Capital letter. And this is going to help you with the platform because the platform also takes into an account this. So if you see the short answer, yes, I am. No, I'm not. The long answer, yes, I am a student. No, I am not a student. Okay. Now, we are going to do a small practice. Are you in class? Is Maria your sister? Is Rebecca in this class? Are we in pre-intermediate one? Okay. So, what are we going to do? We are going to ask these questions to each other. Okay. And let me see. Okay, just give me a second. There you go. You have it now on the WhatsApp group, okay? And we are going to go to the groups. You are going to have just two minutes for this practice because these are very simple, yes, no questions, okay? Let's go to the group. Please, get in. Hi. Hi. Hello. Sorry, perdón, Joy. Saida, can you get into the group? And Tulio. Saida, hello. Oh, perfect. Hello, guys. Hello. Did you do the exercise? Did you ask the questions? Ya se hicieron las preguntas? Hello. Hello, can you hear me, Christian? Yes, yeah, teacher. Did you ask the questions to Carlos? No, because I don't have. You know what? Yes, I listen. Oh, Carlos went out of the group. Perhaps he disconnected. Okay, let's do something. I'm going to move you, Christian. I'm going to move you okay. to another group. Okay. There you go.
Did you finish? Um, yeah. You ask yeah. each other? Yeah. I... Okay, guys. How do We're you say? Going... We ask each other. Yes. We ask each other. Perfect. Okay, we're going back to the main room. Yes, no? Okay. Yes. Okay, let's go back. Okay, everybody's back. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Roberto, please ask your questions to Mr. Joel Biches. Who? Roberto, you ask the question, Mr. Joel Biches will answer the questions. Ah, okay, Joel. Hi. Are you are you in, in class? Yes, I am in class. Okay. Is Maria your sister? No, she's not my sister. Is Rebecca in this class? No, Rebecca is not in this class. Are we in pre-intermediate one? Yes, we are in pre-intermediate one. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Both of you, excellent. Remember, pre-intermediate. Pre-intermediate. Pre it's pre. Okay. Okay, now let's see, let's see. I still got time for one. So let's see who's being quiet, too quiet. Miss Marilyn Romero? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Please. Hi, Marilyn. Would you mind Hi. asking, let's see who. Would you mind asking, please, uh, Norma? You ask okay. Hello, Norma. Norma. Will answer. Hi, Marilyn. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, are you in class? Yes, I am. Okay. Is Maria your sister? She is not. Uh, no, it's she. No, okay. Um, is, Re uh, okay. is Rebecca in this class? No, she isn't. Okay. Um, are we intermediate one? Yes, are we? Yes, we okay, are. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you, guys. If you notice, it was just so perfect because in the first case, Joel answered yes, no question, long answer. In the second situation, Norma answered yes, no question, short answer. Short answer. And it was just perfect because if you notice, we can answer long or short. It depends on you, okay? The only difference is this. When we use the long answer for a yes, no question, we are very, very formal or we are emphasizing, okay? And we use, when we use the short answer, we are just saying yes or no. That simple. Okay, guys. Any question? No question. No question. Okay, perfect. No now, question, teacher. in this case, uh, do you like it better today? ¿Les parece bien cómo trabajamos ahora? The activity? Yes. Okay. Yes. Remember, Excellent. 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 Remember if hey, you teacher. have any yes, advice teacher. or any comment, let me know. Si tienen algún comentario, hágamelo saber. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank Have you. Good night. night. Thank you. Thank you, good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Teacher. Yes. A little question. Tell me. 
in the plat in the platform I I finished the 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 exercises. Okay. And my pro my progress uh, I I view 